what's up guys welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing with you step by step to a sql server instance running in a docker container so let's get right into it we're going to be taking a look at how we can migrate a database using the method of exporting and importing a backpack file in simple terms a backpack file is a zip compressed archive that contains microsoft database schema and data so to generate a backpack file, right click on the database, select task, then scroll down to export data to your application. Select next. Select your location where you want your backpack files to be stored. I'll be storing it in the backups directory. Specify a name for the backpack file and then select save. On the advanced tab, you can select the schemas and tables that you want to export in the archive format. Then select next and then finish so this method is ideal if you want to move from on-premise to an azure instance however i'm going to simulate that using the docker container select close so i'm going to start up my docker environment i'm going to start up my container now let's connect to our container environment using sql server management studio so the port for the docker is 1432 it's running on local host and i'm connecting with the sa password to import the backpack file, right click on the database, select import data to your application, then select next, then browse for the backpack file. And once you have identified your backpack, open the file, then select next. Now here you have the option also to specify the location where the files will be stored. And then you can also rename your database. So it's, it's going to take the default name of the backpack file. However, I want to keep it as AdventureWorks 2022. Then select next. Then select finish. So guys, when you practice these stuff, these are the actual things that you'll do within the organization. So my operation is complete. So let's close. Now let's access our database. And we should be able to connect and view all the data just like we were before on the local server instance which is this one here. So that's it for now guys. If this tutorial has helped you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and give me a subscribe.